Welcome back to the channel and yesterday saw the release of the Grand National Works so I thought I'd go through them and pick up some interesting horses and the key headlines from that and the most obvious place to start is with Tiger Royal and connections all but confirmed that he probably won't be going after being given a rating of 161 which means he well the original weighted carry would be 11 stone 4 now on the day that I'd probably go up because the top two rated horses, Galvin and Conflated, I can't really see them going because Galvin will have a big day in the Cheltenham Gold Cup and I don't think he'll be able to bounce back and head to entry just a few weeks later on and Conflated, I definitely don't think he'll stay the distance, so I don't think they'll go, which means on the day if Tiger Earl did turn up he'd be carrying about 11 stone, 6, 7, maybe 8. But I think connections of Tiger Earl do split opinion, but for me, I think I agree with connections here. He shouldn't be rated in the hat in one six one after what he's done this season. If you look at his performances in the last couple of starts, although he was very good at Cheltenham in the Glen Farkles, but since then he's been beaten forty eight lengths in the Betway Bowl, tailed off in that. He was pulled up in the many clouds at Aintree, then he got smashed thirty lengths over hurdles, and he's only gone down five pounds for that and this mark would be higher than he actually won it the last two start the last start even he won it off 159 before and I was looking back at the form heading into that he was brilliant on his returns in a guy two over hurdle and then he won at the Cheltenham Festival by miles again and he only went went into that rated 159 now he's rated 161 and his form has been no better for all I agree with the handicapper somewhat. He's got four mount here and that counts for a lot in the Grand National but I can't see how he's been rated 161 and it's a shame because he would be going to win the Grand National for a third time and that sadly will not be the case. Now I think connections will be pretty strong on that and I think that Cheltenham probably will be his last start. Hopefully he can go out in style but either way I think as he's a 12 year old now I think that'll be his last run, win, lose or draw to be fair. Other horses of interest, well Manella Times won the National last year and has been put up £15 which is quite a lot but he did win it very impressively last year by about six lengths in the end. He'll carry the same weight as Tiger or would do if he turned up and I think although he's been going to carry a lot more weight this time around, once you've got form around the national fences that is countless because so many horses simply cannot take to the task although more do nowadays than they did in the past of course where the fences were a lot bigger and tougher to get around but still I think off a weight of, a weight of 11 stone 4 you could definitely make a case for him as well and Noble Yates is definitely one of the most interesting horses he's shot up the bet into around 14 to 1 in the market now he carries 11 stone 10 stone 4 so he gets a nice feather weight and he's got very good form his latest done behind a hoist and you know, I was there in person and I was, it definitely caught the eye because the jockey didn't get too serious and I think a hoist is a very good horse so to get within 5 or 6 lengths I think it was in the end that was a very nice performance he's been bought, bought by the Whaley Cohens for the Grand National in mind and they've had some success in the Grand National before as well so that's definitely one to note and his shot up to nail on a favourite for the race which considering he's still quite young it might be a year too soon some might say and the stats might suggest that as well but I think if he turned up if taken to the fences he could definitely run well off a low weight. Now we're going to review the anti-post tips that I put up a couple of months ago for the National. I put two up and We'll get this one out the way with first Kimberlite Candy at 50 to 1. Now, this horse has been a big disappointment this season. He's failed to finish his past three races, so he definitely won't be going to the national, which is a shame because I always thought he is a national horse in and out. Although I did disappoint last year when I bet on him again, but I think this horse will probably be retired soon enough. He's got temperament issues, and I don't think he's fully in love with the game, so I don't think. He should be racing anymore. But the other one at 33 to 1. For the same connections as Tiger Earl, Run Wild Fred. Now I'm very happy with this one. He got a nice enough weight in the low 11 stones. I wish it was 
a couple of pounds or lower as you always do but I think at 33 to 1 I tipped this horse up is now as short as 16 to 1 in places and I definitely think if he turns up it'll be much shorter on the den he might even just be single figure prices if he puts in a impressive of impressive performance in the national hunt chase at Cheltenham I think he will go there and hopefully try back it up in the national but at 33 to 1 I'm sat very putty on that at the minute it's almost halved in price so that's my one anti-post tip hoping and carrying the flag on the way to Cheltenham for Kimber like Candy Worker but Lum Wild Fred definitely looks a very good horse jumps fence as well was second in the Irish National, could have won that if he jumped the last better, so he's got stamina, he jumps so well and I think if he takes the defences he could be a big player at 16-1 to 1. but that's the video completed guys, thanks a lot for watching and let me know in the comments below what your immediate thoughts of, was after seeing the weights for the National do you agree with me that Tiger Roll was carrying too much weight or was it a fair weight as the handicapper done the right job let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time